we're measuring time. So what are all the factors that could change the time, that could make our measurement of the time incorrect? How could we improve the measurement of the time? One thing that a lot of people try to do is start the clock at the instant they let go of the pendulum. But that's hard to do. So what I prefer is to start the pendulum and then start the clock after the pendulum starts swinging on the second cycle. If you're just watching the pendulum, it comes up, boom, boom, boom. It's much easier to time the stopwatch with that than to try to do it by letting go of both things at the same time. So we're measuring time. And inaccuracies in measuring time come from reaction time. It takes you a little bit to hit the button on the stopwatch. One way to reduce that is to measure a longer time. So instead of measuring one cycle, I'm going to measure one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll take this number and divide it by five to get the time for one cycle. And that way, any reaction time error is greatly reduced. As long as my amplitude isn't changing very much over that time, I think it's safe to do that.